What's going on everybody? It's Frito here. Do I have some exciting news to break down with you? Today, Blizzard tweeted out and released on their website an interview with inventor Effie Oladele. I apologize if I'm saying that incredibly wrong. I'm a mere partially educated Western gamer nerd. I don't know how to speak. But until I'm corrected, I'm going to go with Effie Oladele. You might think that Blizzard may just add a bit of lore onto their website, right? But I think with the way that this is written, that it's far too obviously pointing towards the next content release that we're going to get into the game of Overwatch. And although we got tons of hints that it isn't Doomfist, I think it is Doomfist related and let me tell you why. First, let's break down this interview. Effie is an inventor and has a prodigy level command of robotics. She's 11 years old and is receiving the Ottaway Foundation's prestigious quote, genius grant. It doesn't get much better than that, folks. And as a quick aside, I know she's 11 years old, but these are some heroic implications of her as a character already. And I think it's great, actually. And it brings up stories in my memory of genius inventors in Africa. Like, I'm sure you can Google this. There's a story of a young boy who fashioned together a way to manage or sanitize his community's water at the age of about 11 as well. So this rings true to me. I'm sure I'm butchering that news story, but I'm sure a lot of you have heard a few of these over the years. So I think the premise of her even in the lore is just a beautiful thing, and it makes Overwatch a stronger intellectual property. But although her character draws allusions to heroic implications, like sanitizing water supplies, I don't know necessarily if everything is as it seems. In the lore interview that Blizzard posted, they asked the question of Effie, how did you get into robotics and artificial intelligence? And she responds, well, I've always been interested. After my mom and dad got me my first robotics kit, I became obsessed with putting together little drones. When I started to get good at it, I tried to build robots to do my chores and to help around the house. My parents think it's cheating, it's no fair. <laughs> I want to create things that make our lives better, and someday my dream is to build something that can keep us safe, like the new OR-15s. I think that would be great. They go on to ask her, It's amazing what you've been able to accomplish at your age. How do you do it? And she says, I'm not sure how to answer that. I just do it. I guess I'm very lucky that my parents put up with it. Robotics can be messy, you know, and expensive. Messy, huh? Sounds like some drama may be incoming. They go on to ask, speaking of which, do you have any plans for what you're going to do with your grant? New computer? College tuition? And she responds, oh, I have an idea. No hint, it's a secret for now, but my parents are taking me on a trip to celebrate. It'll be my first time flying, so I can't wait. Guys, she lives in New Bonnie. Doomfist's gauntlet is on display in New Bonnie. Why is she leaving the Doomfist gauntlet? That is my suspicion. I want to think this little girl is the sweetest little thing, but the way that they're framing this story is like setting us up for emotional turmoil, I feel, because it's like such a great spotlight, this wonderful news thing. And when you build all those expectations up for greatness, it leads me to wonder if we should be reading into the foreshadowing. Robotics can be messy. She said so herself. Is she creating a Doomfist artificial intelligence that's going to wreak havoc on the people of Noombani? I don't know. I'm not saying she has evil intentions, but I wonder if this is sort of a mad scientist to be. I mean, just ask Zarya how she feels about the Omnics and their artificial intelligence. She barely can even get along with Zenyatta. How do I trust a man who's half machine? The heart of a man still beats inside me. You've heard all the voice lines before, just like I have. This is the entire premise of the conflict of the game of Overwatch, and oftentimes it's not really in our face. Like, we're all fighting and we don't really know why. We know there was the big Omnic Crisis way back when. Now it's kind of subsided and Overwatch is getting back together. This feels like a dramatic lower event that's about to happen. Effie has a big surprise for us, and she has to be far away to unleash it. Are you kidding me? What are you going to do, Effie? No! I'm pretty sold that Effie is going to be our next character, but the question is, how is she going to be played? I think the most obvious assumption is that she's not going to be jumping around the battlefield like Little Diva, getting knocked around by Reinhardt's hammer. That's probably not going to happen. She's an inventor, so maybe she sits in the spawn room and sends out her big Doomfist mega badass to go wreak havoc on everything. I think that's a pretty likely scenario. And when her robot gets destroyed, maybe she rebuilds it for 10 seconds in spawn. I I don't know, but I think the gameplay implications of a character that doesn't have to fit into a box of having an identity for itself, in that like Bastion, they still make him have an identity and like emotions and he's a very special kind of Bastion turret because he's the one that got lost in the forest and all that. I'm sure you've seen the videos that they posted on the Play Overwatch channel. Like it has character, right? Whereas 
I think the character of the mech that she's going to control might be evil. I mean, she might have the sweetest intentions, but I fear this is going to go horribly wrong. It has Frankenstein all over it. A lot of people don't know this, but Frankenstein was actually the name of the scientist originally, not the monster. The monster was just the creation that Frankenstein created. It was Frankenstein's monster. Effie, are you going to release a monster onto the Overwatch community? I think Jeff Kaplan was being cheeky, and I thought this the entire time. 24 is not who you think it is. Well, that's because Doomfist is a gauntlet. It isn't necessarily the character. I think Effie is the character who unleashes Doomfist onto the game of Overwatch. Guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. I know this is a crazy theory, but I'm really hyped for new content for the game. I love these dramatic angles that they take. And the good news is, Jeff Kaplan has already announced publicly that they're not going to be stringing us along for a long time like they did with Sombra, but this does seem like a big hint. It doesn't just seem like some news story that they're trying to put out to develop lore for the game. It is leading us to get hyped for a new character. I can feel it in my bones. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It really does help us out. Subscribe for more because we upload each and every day. Check us out on Twitch. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and check out our Discord server so you can find the Effie main of your dreams. Boom! New character hype! That's been it for me. I've been Frito for your Overwatch. I'll see you guys next time.